Welcome all to this video walkthrough of our 2003 Coastal Resort. It's a 31 by 12 two bed from 2003. It's priced at 6895. I'm going to have a look around and show you the layout and the condition and see what we think. Point anything out to you that I can see might be alarming or might be of interest. So we start here in the living room area. We can see we've got an exterior door on our left hand side there. We've got two exterior doors, one that enters here into the living room and one that comes into the hallway, which we'll see in a bit. Looking at the upholstery, you could certainly get on with it and uh, and use it as it is, chuck some throws over it or something like that. Um, there is just a starting to um, fray the pattern, as you can see. It's, it's more of, I think, a, a design flaw when it was originally made. Um, we often get this with certain fabrics from certain years where the fabric starts to pull a bit, um, which is unfortunate, but that's how it is. Like I say, you could use it. There's no massive holes in it or anything like that. You could just use it as it is or chuck some throws on it. If you've got dogs or something, you're not too worried. Um, but just to point that out, as we always show you uh, an honest representation of the kit of the condition the carpet um it's a little bit worn but to be honest there's nothing uh, crazily bad about it so i think you could easily just leave it as it is um but you can see it's sort of lined a bit um because it's probably not the world's most expensive carpet but i certainly think it doesn't need changing you can leave it as it is i think it matches the hallway area as well um don't think it's original i think the originals are probably red or green or something like that judging by the age um so i think no problem with leaving that as it is gas fire opposite us here then um it's just got a fire guard over the front and we've got a couple of storage um, cupboards either side and we also got this dining area here with table and a couple of stools we've got what is there's no door but i mean it's a sort of shut off kitchen area to the living area really so whilst it is open plan there's no door there is a bit of privacy there to the kitchen so if you're sat watching television here and you have you've had your dinner watching television and then somebody's washing up um you don't have to look at them which is positive. Um, or if you're doing the washing up, you don't have to look at the person on the sofa. Maybe that's a good thing, maybe it's not, I don't know. Make your own decision. But you can see it's separated off a little bit from the living room area. So into the kitchen we go. On our left hand side immediately, I'm just gonna point out is a bedroom here. Um, so that is a twin room um, with uh, just a double mattress in it on top of a couple of singles. Very comfy, um, but just need to get one of those mattresses out could be a double room or it could be a twin room with singles whichever you prefer there is a big wallpaper tear on the right hand side just to point that out half covered by some footballs um, but that can obviously be looked at um, I don't think we get the original wallpaper uh, but I don't think it's too much of a big deal for this caravan with the age of it panel heater there underneath the mirror and then we've got an almost floor to ceiling wardrobe as well just pointing that one out really, I know I do usually do kitchen first, but it's right next to the kitchen, so I thought I'd show you. Rest of the caravan then, so on our right hand side we've got a gas um, oven there, and we've got the kitchen sink. Space for a fridge over on under the counter on the left hand side. As I often point out, if you wanted to, you could take out some of that worktop and you could fit a much taller fridge freezer in there if you wanted to. Spinning around to give you the angle over here, we've got a microwave shelf on the right hand side as well. Looking at these doors, these are the sort that could delaminate, as you have seen in a lot of videos, but they look to be okay, actually. I've seen them go before, but they all look to be all right, so that's a positive. Don't have to worry about our doors delaminating just yet, so that's good. We do have a dividing door, so whilst there's no dividing door up there at the living room end, we do have a door here to shut off the kitchen from the back of the caravan so we can keep a bit of peace in the main bedroom here at the back. So whilst there's no door for the kitchen area um, to the living room, we do have a door then separating off the main bedroom. So main bedroom, which we find at the back of the caravan, as I say, with a window on the rear. We've got bedside tables, we've got overhead storage. There's a little funny looking electric panel heater there. And then spinning around, we've then got our wardrobe tucked in the corner, little vanity desk with mirror. It is a 31 by 12, so obviously it's not going to have as big a bedroom as a 35 by 12 naturally, um, but you can get down the bed either side. There's a decent enough space that you're not going to be crab walking too badly, so that's okay. Coming back out of there, turning to our right-hand side, we have our bathroom. Uh, it's quite dark in here because there isn't a window in here. There's a skylight in the shower, but there's no window, so um, it's just a little bit darker in here. We've got our sink on the left-hand side, and then we've got the shower. our enclosure there so the natural light really just comes in from that skylight if we spin opposite there and turn around by our exterior door then on our left hand side 
we then have a toilet room so toilet and basin in here and then that does have a window so that's the back end of the caravan water heater in there let's have a look around that side we are taking a look around our Kosot resort coming down the non-door side of the caravan we can see that the panels although they need a bit of a wash and the gutters need a little bit of a clean out panels look fine there's no uh, damage to report there is some tape on these downpipes but i think it's more just to keep them on because they're just clipping ones so we've got gutter channels and we've got these clipping gutters which go in the corners where the water runs off uh, downpipe soil clipping downpipes but they do sometimes come off so it's probably why they've been taped looking at the door side here we need a couple of new retainers um door retainers but everything looks okay bit of damage to the gutter and up the end towards the front of the caravan um, but there's no damage on the panels um, more than you'd expect for the age of the caravan being about 20 years old dropping down to look at the chassis it's a painted chassis so there's some surface rust to it but it looks all pretty solid looks solid really for a 20 year old caravan which isn't galvanized i wouldn't say there's any issues there uh, this is a solid looking chassis so nothing really to worry about legs are down which we, ch we check the chassis make sure the legs and wheels are all working uh, make sure everything's okay um, but this has been the Coast Hawk Resort. Uh, it's a 31 by 12 two bed from 2003. It's priced at 6895. If you've got any questions, as always, please do reach out to us either by email or by phone. We'd be only too happy to help. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Thank you.